I'm the warrior head on the wall, and you're watching Warrior TV News. Good afternoon, Warriors. I'm Rainy. And I'm Avery. And this is your Friday, April 20th feature edition of Warrior TV News. First, Sophie and Taya head over to the boys' golf team to see how their season is going. Then Libby and Allison head over to the students to see how they are preparing for AP testing. Finally, Abby and Bree swing over to the girls' tennis team to talk to the coaches and players. All this and more on today's feature edition of Warrior TV News. The boys golf team is off to a great start this year. Sophie and Taya head over to the coaches and players to see how their season is coming along. The boys golf team has been hitting off to a great start this spring season. Warrior TV heads over to the golf course to talk to the coach and players about their goals for this season. I'm Dan Gibson, the head varsity coach at Whiteland Community High School. My philosophy on golf is, is to make the experience for the young guys more of a learning experience, but also more, more of, a, of a family knit together. You know, as I assemble the guys and move them in different groups, the sophomores with the seniors, the freshmen with the juniors, everybody gets an opportunity to play with each other and they kind of band together as a team. Uh, from a learning aspect a lot of times I try to teach the knowledge that I learned while I was out on the tour and then on top of that I try to be very lighthearted. Uh, I treat all the guys like young men. I don't treat them like little kids. I give them responsibilities and jobs to do and I expect them to do it. So I, I give them respect but I also demand respect and that way out of that. I think when, when I approach each of the guys and, and I ask them how they did, you know, they're going to be honest with me. I think in the bottom line, they know where I want them to be and I want them to play their very best because, you know, when you get the best out of them, they're going to feel good about themselves and they'll continue to do that. But when you're positive to them, you reinforce what you want to do. You have good moral values. I think the guys improve and become better people. After speaking with the boys golf coach, Warrior TV swings over to the golfers involved to get their insight on the current season. I am Isaac E. Byer and I'm a senior at Whiteland Community High School. I to join golf because I guess size doesn't really matter. Everyone talks about how short I am, but on the golf course, it don't matter. My name is Jake Johnson and I'm a sophomore. Uh, my favorite part of golf is to hit a really good shot and then all the people better than you to compliment you and so you feel good. My individual goals this season are to be in the top five and also make it to sectionals. My favorite part of golf is to hit clean shots onto the green and get birdies and eagles and hole in ones. Uh, my favorite part of golf is when you just hit a clean drive right into the fairway and your ball is just laying up on some nice grass and you just hit a nice iron right onto the green and you put it close to the hole and you put it in for a birdie. And Everyone claps for you, it's just a good feeling. It looks like the boys golf team is hard at work this season. Make sure you come out and support them at one of their matches. From outside the trophy case, I'm Sophie, here with Taya, Warrior TV News. The boys golf team has a match. Tuesday, April 24th against Mooresville. At the Legends Golf Course starting at 4.30 p.m. Come out to cheer on your boys golf warriors. AP testing is slowly approaching. Allison and Libby talk to guidance and AP testers to see how they're preparing for the test. AP testing plays a significant role in a student's education. Warrior TV goes to the staff and students of WCHS to get their opinions on why AP testing is important. It's nice to take the AP test because it gets you ready for those big, big tests that you'll take like throughout college and um, the SAT. The more rigorous environment and the co more college-like atmosphere I think helps students get ready for college. After talking with Ms. Fuentes, Warrior TV goes to the guidance office to get a counselor's opinion on AP testing. 
There's been a lot of research out there that will indicate that students that have experience with AP while in high school, they will have a much greater chance of getting their undergraduate degree on time compared to students who would have to take remedial classes first. For the high school career, it helps strengthen their GPA and it helps uh, build that foundation, I think, that would make them successful when they go on that school. When I was in high school, AP actually was, wasn't even a thing yet. It was, um, College Board just started developing the AP program back in the 70s and 80s, but it wasn't really, it wasn't common in high schools. So actually my high school did not have AP courses. After talking with the staff, Warrior TV goes to the students to get their opinions on how AP testing will leave an imprint on their high school careers. So the one thing students can do is they can be studying over the materials they've learned throughout the year, and they can use online resources such as forums online and different lesson plans that other teachers around the world have posted and study those and look back at AP exams from before, and that will really help them get an idea of what to expect on the test coming up soon. AP testing is important uh, because it provides a really good insight as to how classes are structured and how material is taught is in a higher education America? environment. So different from then how you would learn the same type of material in a high school setting, um, it's just prevent, presented in a little bit more uh, advanced way that really makes you think about how it applies to uh, different concepts within the field of study and how you can uh, relate it to solve problems in the real world. After talking with Preston Rahim, Warrior TV goes to a junior to see how his thoughts may differ from an experienced AP tester. If the student wants to prepare for AP tests, they can, uh, I would say, study regularly. Each day, dedicate a little bit of their time to that test and not cram too much in one day or one week beforehand. AP testing is important because if you want to specialize in your intended major or separate yourself for a specific college you wish to go to, that really gives you the upper hand. Make sure to prepare for your upcoming AP test this May and talk to your counselor for more information. From outside the LDI, I'm Allison, here with Libby, Warrior TV News. AP testing is slowly approaching. Make sure you are well prepared. If you need to figure out which date you take the AP test, you can talk to your guidance counselor. The girls' tennis team is off to a strong start. Abby and Bree head over to the tennis courts to get more insight. You find a way to get it done. Okay, so Reese, let's go. The 2018 girls' tennis season has officially begun and they have been hard at work preparing. Warrior TV talks to the head coach and two seniors to learn more about this season and their personal tennis experiences. Uh, we prepared for this season uh, by coming in uh, during the winter time twice a week, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour and a half and just working on skills. We have four goals every year. It's the same four goals. We want to compete. We want to we want to work hard. We want to have fun and we want to be good people. Gillespie's team goals for the season really shaped the year and they're all from his personal experience with tennis. Gillespie tells Warrior TV more about how his teaching and playing coincide. The way that teaching connects with coaching is just you learn how to uh, handle kids a little bit better, uh, what to expect from them, the discipline, and, and, and just working with them in general. Uh, and, you're, and, you, and you're with them more during the day, obviously. Uh, a lay coach doesn't get that. They don't see the kids at school. So it, it's very beneficial. I've been coaching tennis for 21 years. This is the 21st year I've, I've been coaching. My favorite thing about being a tennis coach is, is being with the kids. I really enjoy you know, coaching the kids this age. Uh, and when I'm out there, I do get to play, which is nice. So it keeps me in shape. And um, it's beneficial for me and for them to see you know, how I do it. Because uh, I, I, I play pretty well. Uh, so they, they get a good uh, an idea of what, what their expectations are. So. Now that Warrior TV has heard from Mr. Gillespie about his team goals and personal experiences, Warrior TV talks to some senior tennis players to get an inside look on their senior season. I started in eighth grade because my best friends were playing it and it sounded really fun. Um, but what I love most now is how you can like really see how you've improved. Um, my freshman year I was pretty bad, but over the years I've really um, seen a lot of improvement and it's nice to see your hard work pay off. So what got me started is that I live right next door to Gillespie and as a kid he was always out there playing tennis balls in our cul-de-sac and kind of 
was like, hey, you should play tennis. So I found out that Haley was playing and we both decided to play seventh grade. And I really love seeing how I've improved and I just love the sport. Now that Hannah and Riley have told Warrior TV how they got started with tennis, they speak about how they have prepared for their senior leadership role. The past seniors have prepared me to lead because last year we had to have me and Mixell and they were both really passionate about the program. They were really nice and really supportive of everyone on the team and they really set a great example for how to support everyone on the team. The past seniors prepared me to lead the team this year. They were always out there like supporting people and they showed like they were great leaders and I know that I really looked up to them and Avneet being captain that's kind of what persuaded me to be captain because she was really good and I was Looked at them for inspiration. Being on the tennis team has really taught me how to work hard and stay positive even through tough times. When you're down or when you're losing, it's really important to be able to get yourself back up, get back in the game, and pull through so you can win the match even if you're down. It's taught me to be more confident in myself. Now I'm captain and I never would have imagined that I would be because I was a shy little freshman. And I'm more confident with like my calls and stuff and if there's any disagreements, I feel like I can vocalize it and do a lot better and be confident in myself and my playing ability. So, Sounds like this year's girls tennis team is really serving it up on the courts. Make sure to come support them at their next home game on April 23rd against Martinsville. Girls tennis tips off at 5 p.m. From outside the tennis courts, I'm Abby here with Bree, Warrior TV News. I've been playing tennis since I was a freshman in high school. So I was 14, I'm now 43, so that's a long time. Uh, I don't have my calculator handy, so that's going to be a real tough one to get for me there. Johnson County Tennis Tournament Finals tomorrow at Whiteland's Tennis Courts. Starts at 9 a.m. Come out and support your girls' tennis team. And that's all we have for you today on this feature edition of Warrior TV News. Until next time, have a good one.